a trap. Mm. You're not vibing. Same way I'm vibing. I'll let him have his moment. Uh, uh oh. His vertigo is about to act up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have Travis Mayer. Hey, how are you going? This thing is recording, right? <laughs> how are you going? That's what Matt taught me to talk like. Is that what Australians say? You. How are you going? Yeah, chime in. There's a mic right there. How's it actually Yeah, pronounced? get over here, Matt. How are you going? How are you going, mate? How are you going, mate? It's how you going. How are you going? How? how? You're going. How you going? How you going? Mate. I'm going to call shit for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have created. Never mind. I'll wait till the episode continues before we We're started. It's, it, this is y'all's show. I'm just in, living We're in We're here living in. We have concluded the quarterfinals, Alexis Raptis. How are you thinking you did? Are you happy with your performance at the end of the four workouts? Yeah, I am. Why is it because you? you got a W? She asked me. She goes, when she was done with all I'm four, she goes, do you win money for this? And I was like, I don't know why. She's like. Cause I just fucking crushed it. Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of you, but look, if they pay you, I'm going to be really pissed. Cause I won this two years ago and got paid nothing. Yeah. That is wild. The I only thing I they... got was a, Hey, you get to pick first. What region you want to go? Did they, did they pay in the open in yes. the past two? Okay. They've always paid. I didn't no, know no, 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 no. This is the first year they paid in the open. Oh, they okay. only paid the winner of each workout, but this is the first year they paid like out. I don't know what they paid out to. Hmm. But they've never paid out in the past because I've taken well, second. I've taken, se I've taken second in the world too and got paid nothing. Well, they, it wouldn't make sense to pay it open, but not quarterfinals. I think yeah. I think you need to back pay. Yeah, they should. I'd take it. Yeah, I won. I worked hard for that. Yeah, that's cool that you won it. Yeah, it meant nothing, and no one knows. All right, but this <laughs> year's quarterfinals. <laughs> what y'all think about the workouts overall? When you saw all the tests, you said, "Ladies first. Um, well, when I saw them, I was like, oh, wah, 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 wah. and then when I did them, oh, dang it. Uh, did you know that button? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. You had that's, six buttons and you pressed the right one. Yeah, That's how I felt. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> they were fun. They were fun. I I bet. They, they were fun workouts. Before we jump into workout one, I think it took the CrossFit world by storm this week. Yeah. Yes, baby. Yes, look at it. Look at it. When did you like discover this technique? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Trevor Tug. <laughs> the Trevor Tug. Someone commented that. Uh, first off, let's clarify. I don't condone this in teaching anybody this methodology of why to do this. So I walk into the gym and Perrin was playing around with I, an actual rower told her this of like the technique to get it up faster. So the calories would jump up to a higher Rate. And I was warming up, doing everything normal. And I was just watching. And I look at Max. I'm like, what are they doing? Like, this is stupid. Like, they look ridiculous. So then they started playing with it. So I hop on and I pull. And it goes to over 2,000 on the first pull. Like, the first one. And I was like, no way. And then, <clears throat> more or less, we did it on the first pull. And then I did not use it the rest of the yeah, workout the way I, to you do did it. it. One but time? Yeah, that huh? was it. Just to start it, it got it yeah. up to 2,000. Yeah. And then you'd row. And I still probably n would never do it again. Like, Why? Just because it just looks absurd. No, um, you have to do it. That's your thing now. I think now we're going to do it. But the amount of comments that thought I rode the entire workout that way. I posted the clip, and within, like, I don't know, two minutes, I've never seen anything take off like that. Like, really? we had it was so 100 fast. comments, lots of views. It was, like, wildfire. Immediate. Uh, and wow. it was, so we finished, and I went over to Chris. I said, hey, let's just clip. I said, did you get the first couple clips of the row? And he's like, yeah. I said, clip them, and then let's just make it say, like, that's how we get to simmies. All is a joke. Yeah. Yeah. And then it went ballistic. Well, what's and funny is when I saw crazy. him do that, when I was filming, I was like, what the, what the hell is that? And I was thinking, I'm going to make a clip of that. But then I was like, no, nah, I'll, I'll not. And then he came and said something. I was like, all right. And then the, the night was long and I was about to leave. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll make this clip. And then there was all the things I mean, we could have yeah, done. I mean, I, there's definitely way more efficient techniques to rowing, how you should do it. I don't ever do that. What do you think when you saw it? Long enough. I thought it was a joke. Thank you. Cause I was, cause here. that's what it was meant to be. Okay. Um, and then it just turned out, it worked out. To so many get, good comments, though. Oh, my God. But it someone was put Trevor Tug. Yeah. yeah, and so that's now. 
That's funny. I still don't know. So if let's I'm on actually. Board with that, I got. But the, I think you should roll with it. Keep doing it. Two thousand. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, I still pulled twenty three hundred when I'm pulling to my chest. Well, the way I no, but to start it, you should like start every row like yeah, that. I think you should too. I'll try it. You should go out there and try. The way I edited I it, people probably thought you were rowing that way. No, for sure. Yeah. yeah, but they couldn't even see that it's on loop. Yeah, I mean, it was obvious if you pay attention. But here, just just to satisfy everyone's thoughts, here's the actual clip. Ooh, there's the big end. There's the Trevor and, tug, and, and now we're back to normal. And there it is. Ah. So like that's all it was, but it was the way he put it made it look like I was just doing it the whole time, which was hysterical. But for all of you out there, you should go try. Don't knock it till you try it. I'll try it. See at least what you can get it up to, because I think that was honestly the funny part. Because Perrin literally pulled, and it was at like sixteen hundred. What? And I was like, no way. Wow. Yeah. And so yeah. then it just like extends it a little bit further and it's not good rowing technique yes we know all the rowers all the people out there we know it's not good all right so that's that what did y'all think about workout one um i i liked it because it had that rest so you could just like <laughs> <laughs> i like you like you liked that, it because there was rest you're like yes. that kid on uh, reading rainbow is like i like this book because it has pictures <laughs> That would be me for sure. <laughs> Cause like I was pretty consistent the whole time. Cause I had that rest. I was like, okay, cool. I settled in. I knew what numbers I got the first time. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to do that every time. And it was just like, I was able to stay just locked in, focus on these numbers I had to hit. And it went by fast. Like halfway yeah. through, I was like, oh, okay, this is how it's going to be. Like, it's really just a grippy workout. And I knew what paces to hold. I knew what pace to go on the bar. So it just was like, a routine almost of what I had to do. Did you watch her go? Yeah. Did she go first before you? No, I went first. Okay. Did you watch I showed her? I showed her. I showed her what to do. Then she didn't do the tug. <laughs> I, I didn't do the tug. None of us did. Actually, nope. though, I think because you redid it and did more, but you did more row. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we pretty much the first time, my first score was 228 going out, which I think we went more aggressive on the snatch, thinking I would probably hold 25 to 28 on the row. And then roughly 20 step ups, but then the row started to drop off. And so then the second time we repeated, we just went way more aggressive on the row because you can just get more calories that way. And then it became a more metabolic workout. I feel like that way, because it was literally like those two minutes you were like sprinting to do the row. And how much did up. you improve by? Pretty much tw almost 20 reps, 19 reps. Dang. Yeah. But it was I, just the row was the biggest thing. If, if I redid it, I would do that. Like less reps on the snatch, go harder on the row. And, and then stay probably same pace on the box. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the same thing. It's just, It was such a game, too. Like, if you were a stronger rower, you could make up way more. But it also, I feel like, from the female side, gave them, if they had a, the lighter bar, they could have almost touch and goad and done the same and almost could have done the reverse. Like, you could have almost snatched 20 reps and then rode 8 to 10 calories verse the other way around or snatch mm -hmm. less row more i think it just kind of gave people the option for that and i think the 20 inch box made it a level playing field for if you're taller or short like it just kind of leveled that out and see who could hang on but i thought it was a cool test um, you went with the uh, annika and ashley and ashley at the same yeah. time did that have any effect on your performance N uh i mean it was nice to do it with them but i don't think i really even saw them the whole time i was just focused on myself blinders on brother yeah they were um but i like doing it i i did them with people the whole weekend except for the first one or not the first one the third one we all did that kind of separate but that was a space that was yeah, a, yeah. a space thing space thing but yeah it was good it was nice having the girls with me the fact you had so long this go around relative to only having a couple days to do the workouts you're having six days essentially like it gives you more opportunity to repeat even potentially like Annika did what three times right like you just almost had plenty of time to do it three times yeah. Yeah. yeah um was this one of the easier ones to game to improve because it seemed like a lot of people did this one over i would say yes yeah yeah i mean that would be the this one be the that easiest i would one. have redone if i redid yeah. like no one wants to repeat four like no no one wanted to do that the Three, I think you potentially can just because there's a def couple of different strategies you could do if you went bigger sets on the muscle ups versus yeah. smaller sets, break up more on the toes to bar, whatever it may be. And then the two, you're not going to re redo that yeah. the burpee one. What did I say? Four? Yeah. Oh, I meant two. Yeah. Yeah. Two, the burpee two. one. No. And then four, you definitely could because it's. We had the some people bellet. do the burpee yeah. one back to back. Oh my God. I know. I forgot. Annika. Who? Annika. Oh. Annika. And Linda. It. Oh, and Linda. That's crazy. I would not want to redo that. In the well, same I don't day. know. I feel like more so Annika because she did it the same day. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that's... Oh um, all right. No, so thank you. Speaking of workout two, let's speaking move on to workout it, two. Yeah. Workout two. That was a doozy. I'm going to yeah. be honest. I think... You know what? It actually wasn't that bad. I think it was the harder part was you had to stay so mentally dialed in the whole time to keep your burpee speed fast that I think that's what's more fatiguing than it was actually the workout, right? Like the speed of burpee, everybody has to step down. So you're going slower that, and then to me, to me, the wall balls weren't really ever an issue. It's just like, you're just wall balling, that's but good. the, the Whatever. burpees for sure. Like it was just like, you had to stay so focused of like, no matter what I drop and I have to get up. Like, yeah. it's really easy to just lay there and take two breaths, like not thinking you're going that slow, but you would be going that slow. For, okay. So when you read it, are you thinking like, cause here's how my brain reads it. Like, okay, I do the 50 wall balls. I do the 50 burpees. And at that point now I get to go back and do 50 wall balls. No, yeah, like yeah. I just, I don't want to. So is that, are y'all so good that you don't think that way? Or is you're still thinking that way? Like it's going to hurt. This sucks. I don't want to go back. Oh, for sure. Mm, yeah. I mean, I think in a certain way, like not that you can't do it. I think it's more just like, man, this is so many, we're about to do 150 burpees yeah. mm. and stepping down every single one of these, right? Like you couldn't even jump. So you're like, it slows it down regardless. But I think anytime, I think for most people, right? Like most of them waited to do that one technically last mm -hmm. because everybody just knows the impact it's going to have from you're doing essentially 300 reps of pressing to pressing of some way and like the soreness that comes from that and other yeah. things that what to about me you, that one seemed. I thought it was um, more of like a mental test, like who's yeah. the toughest person mentally because like physically nine foot wall balls, like those are pretty easy for everyone. Um, Must be nice. What do you mean? You just shut up. And burpees, like everyone can do burpees, right? But mentally to do 50 reps <laughs> and then 50 reps and then be like, you said, oh my gosh, I have to do this two more times and I'm already like getting hot and tired. If you're unable to stay like mentally there, like- you're, Were you? Yeah. I was okay. locked in. At any point, did it, kick, when did it kick in. in that you were like, okay, this sucks? Or I mean, the second round felt the hardest for me. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. But then at the third one, I'm just like, you know literally dying. I have nothing to lose. Like I'm going to just do everything I can and like I'm done after this. I think you should show them the photo. The photo of my knees? <laughs> <laughs> what, from burpees? <laughs> looks like this girl's yeah. been beaten with a bat <laughs> on her knee. Like dirty something. burpee knee? <laughs> yeah. Bruised. No, 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 not dirty. No, bruised. just bruised. Oh. Like black and blue. Yeah. You were going that hard in the paint? Oh, dang. Here, uh, <laughs> or text me the picture and I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, like my knees That's hurt crazy. so bad after. Well, Can I she goes out there and she go starts doing burpees today. Do and then later. she goes, uh, <clears throat> my knees hurt. I was oh, like, do it what? <laughs> and then she's like, oh, look. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I had Why? to put knee sleeves on. Because I was just dropping. She I was just, just like, boom. And you don't normally do that? 150 or times. Or just the amount? No, normally I don't do 150 of them. I think I, I also know. think, too, the way you were dropping was different. I Because you just to, plopped. Yeah, I was trying to like plop. You just plop down versus like more controlled. And then I think like your knees are taking the hit. Yeah. Almost like it's like toe knee. Well, I've been working later. on that, like to plop because it's faster. You're plopping? What, what are, are you, you doing to work on that? She plops. I've been plopping more. <laughs> Instead I've of been like, popping what were you doing? There's a difference. Pop like, my collar. like when people get tired, they'll go like this and then like that instead of just plop. plop. You know how there's just like no arm pop, save. Pop. Just yes. It it's seems like, like that would take a beating on your chest, goes, like, not your knees. Takes she a just beating relax. on everything. Oh, okay. She literally just goes like this and relaxes. Like oh. you can see it. She just. <laughs> oh God. It's the plop. It's the plop. I was very proud of that. That was like for me a good checkpoint of like okay i'm in a good headspace right now and should we highlight from a couple weeks before of the headspace you were in i was in a really bad headspace Why? a few weeks ago during the open and after the open i mean i think we all were not all of us two of us just me well, and you because <laughs> y'all just weren't firing on all cylinders compared to where you thought you no, should I be think, or i mean i think the seasons right change each year and i think right like it gets harder and harder each time that you kind of continue to keep doing it, you'll like, you know what you're going to have to do every time. And then when you're in the midst of like the open, right. And now you're starting to see your name on the leaderboard. And like, for me personally, it was the worst open finish I think I've probably ever had since I like started. Right. So it's like a big ego check of like, man, okay, we're not, we're nowhere near where we need to be. But the difference of like, okay, you got to flip that switch and like make the decision to step up now. 
and go. I think we were both kind of in the same spot a little bit like mentally. And then, um, then you're just like, all right, my back's against the wall. Now you got to like turn it on. But I mean, the difference from like when we were at the beginning of the open to where we are now was yeah, like a crazy. night and day different, but it's not even our fitness that's changed a ton either. No, just, I, I think ugh, I'd say for me, it has a lot. Like I did like five muscle ups, like in I the mean, open I would and say, I felt like I was I would having say a heart we attack. have gotten fitter for <laughs> sure, but I think it's more like it's between the ears. our head. Yeah. So what 100%. changed? You get did, hey, hold on. Did it change after you just finished these workouts and now you feel badass no, or did it change no. before? No, no, no. It's before no. leading in. Yeah, it's okay. been like two or three I think weeks, it's right? uh, it's you just start to gain confidence. Yeah. I think that's like probably our, like the biggest thing in the workouts. Like you're going head to head. You're like, okay, now we're racing more versus like. Yeah. But what do you do, I, Lex, that made you change? I mean, I started working out with people a lot more. Like I would work out with him. I would just get people to do my stuff because I was just yeah, like. The group sessions, all that I stuff. I think fun. it all helps. Yeah, and then you get in your head, and, like, I really thought I was so behind and so out of shape, and it was it was just in my head. Yeah. So what order did y'all do these workouts in? Did we do the same? We did I one. I think we did them the same. One, yep. One, three. No, one, four. Oh, yeah, one, four, three, two. Three, two. It wasn't until the, the last day after the burpees I felt tired. Mm. Like I don't even – I honestly don't even feel like I've felt really sore. No relative to like in the years past of things yeah. we've done i think this one on the body wise it seemed to be less of a abuse yeah like it, it was just, good yeah it almost just i had a lot of energy the whole time like it was yeah. just but i also again. think part of it too is because we had a longer time yeah right versus getting them thursday afternoon do you they, like this longer time format i not, mean i i, I would, would prefer, prefer shorter yeah same why I, I think it creates more pressure. Yeah, and then it's like you can't redo them a thousand times. Like you can't do that at the games. Uh, so I think I think it has its pros and cons, but I think uh, I prefer it to be condensed, like a competition almost. But from an affiliate owner side, it's a nightmare, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. to run as many people as we are through event three, like we're still going out there, yeah, right? Like as we're filming this, as yeah. we're filming, and this is Monday afternoon, right? So it's just kind of like. If there was no rope climb, it probably would have made it more efficiently for the community. Right. If for the twenty five percent, because it's like okay, we only have technically like we had to makeshift a whole other lane and build it with boxes. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you told me your order. Looking back now, is that, did y'all nail it, or would you have done a different order? I think we nailed yeah. it. Yeah. I don't okay. think I would do yeah. it. I would do it the same way if I did it again. Yeah, I wouldn't change it. And workout three was <laughs> gymnastics. The old yeah. gymnastics one, the one that old Raptice over here oh, smashed. Oh, well, hey, mm. guess what, guys? We oh. have a full workout. Oh. Look at this. I Laura. haven't I haven't watched it either. Let's uh let's watch can it. Can we together. make this larger on the screen? Yes, Is that I can. possible? I sure can. Ah, look at her. All right. Oh, hey, cool, sweet one knee sleeve down there on the calf. Not ready you. to watch this? It's for my rope climbs. I know, I'm kidding. Here we go. Hi, Jerry. Three, <laughs> two, I love one, it. Go. reverse, Jerry. Oh, let's see. Look at our need for speed. All right, I mean, realistically, when you saw this come out, were you like, I'm about to Yeah. I'm about to smash this? I wanted to win this one. I don't know if I will or not, but I think you're probably gonna be pretty dang close. I, I mean, don't think there's gonna be many. There's some girls who are better at me than muscle ups, and there's not enough handstand push ups to separate, so I think I think some I think some girls will beat me, but would you I'm do I'm still on really the proud of it, like I feel like Jerry just forgot how many reps you're doing because he held up a five <laughs> and then you kept I going. did eight, uh, eight, seven, seven. Is that? That's not accurate. That's eight, the, eight, seven? Eight, seven is 15. So if you did our seven, that's 22. No, I did seven, seven. What did I do? I don't know. Oh my god. We didn't even count. Next time count. Why is this my fault? I figured you would just know you did it. I know. I can't remember. I wasn't there to watch. Let's count. Because I did the same thing every time. I thought it was eight. You did 10 then. What? That was 10. You did 10. Yeah, you did 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two. Three. Three four. Five. Six. Seven. seven. Ooh, oh, seven. Okay. Eight. So seven, seven. Six. Six. Let's see if you did it again. Two. Three. Seven. Yeah. Seven, seven, six. Seven, seven, six. That was it. I did that for all of them. 
Yeah, it must have been nice having that low pull-up bar like that. Just you to, could have put your pull-up bar down. It was adjustable. Yeah, I like a little... It's not actually adjustable. It's adjustable when you get out tools and have to adjust them all. Yeah. But it's not really like an adjustable... You got like, a sick little head, head mat thing going on here. Oh, yeah. With the soft cushion in there. Is that what that is? I guess. Adam made that. John made it. John made that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never used it. John Maloney, I, ladies and gentlemen. It felt good on my head. Let's give yeah. a shout out real quick to, to all John. the people who put all this crap together. Yeah. I know. All of crazy. our coaches. All, all the, the coaches. Everybody. All the staff. Everybody. The judges for flying in. Helping. Even our on-site athletes for deferring their training who weren't in quarterfinals. Everybody yeah. just For like six days too, right? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Thanks to everybody. All the members on our side going with the flow, getting yeah. out of the way for all the cameras. Because you'll see right here, I don't know, I guess you wouldn't see it from this camera view, but from her camera view, you had to have a clock on a box and then move at the same time as yeah. the athlete. Oh, I didn't know if you could see it when you're yeah, filming you'll see this. It here in a um, the whole production. It is. And I mean, that's every single time. I'm nervous. <laughs> watching this? Yeah. I hate watching my videos back. Doing great. Why? I don't know. I just. Jeez. If What's I'm being that? Honest, is that like a. What do you Yeah, you do doing? like a head kick. What is that? <laughs> what? No, but seriously, though, what is that? I don't know. Maybe you should try it out. Here's the camera. I feel work. like I tweak my neck. Look at that. Got a whole system right there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so James running over. Good job, James. Keeping uh, the clock in frame. We got Ortega down there filming you. Look at him go. He's so pumped. Need for speed. Look at you. What for you went on this workout? Like on your body? Like what went out? Uh, I think my triceps. Mm. I there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I mm. think my triceps. I don't know, actually. I think my grip. I take that back. Like the muscle-ups, I felt my grip more. I saw y'all messing with ropes. Y'all y'all determined that one of these ropes was thinner or thicker or something? What were y'all saying? No, no, no. You I, <laughs> look, I guarantee, look, I'd use both sides. The one on the right side, I chalked up almost after every one because my hands were slick. I didn't chalk up one time on this rope. Really? And that's not me throwing it out. Oh, no, they're feeling the exact same. I, I don't know. They're not. And everybody else has only used this one. I only used that one because it was, like, ready to yeah. use. I didn't use it because I... You're mad at her for using the easier rope? No. He, he redid it. He got oh. one second better. Yeah, it was worthless. It didn't really oh help him. Gosh. Now, Look, does that piss you off when you only get one second better? Well, the fact that I was, like, after the rope, I was, like, 20 seconds ahead. So I was like, oh, I'm on pace. I got it. Until I didn't have it but anymore. It was, yeah. And then just went away. It just went. That was it. It was it a was, wrap. It was really the muscle ups. Like, it was a muscle. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I know. What oh, was I, that? That was my mess up. What, what happened? I don't know. I missed my feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rope. It's her first rope climb. She's just I've learning. I've never rope climbed before. She's just now learning how to do I it. I love rope climbs, though. They are fun. Yeah. Once you get the ham. Like, I once you've been doing them, then they're fun. When you haven't done them, they're not really fun. I don't know. I mean, I think it was like I wasn't breathing hard. Like I, I feel like the yeah. breathing wasn't a factor. It was really just muscle fatigue. Yeah, I feel like that's. And I didn't want to push it too much. I was, I was honestly like, surprised that I felt workout one was more metabolic than all of them. For me. More than the burpees. Yeah, because well, I mean, I was like doing max effort rows for a minute. What about the first time around? S still, still I feel like the first one almost felt more metabolic than the. Because it was just, you just stayed almost the same pace mm. on the burpees. But I also feel like when you go max effort like that, it gets a little different. Oh, the old cartwheel. Did you cartwheel up? You betcha. Got the head kick. Yeah, you do. What? I want to go try that. I don't know what that, oh, you even broke them. Yeah. You were not, what time was he riding then? Because this is different than what I saw. I have no Or time. what was, you know when we were talking about 515? Yeah. Son of a gun. I was like 30 seconds faster than you yesterday at this point. Really? I was done with that. Oh, man. How did you? Just shut up. My muscle ups, okay? <laughs> they broke down. Did someone give you split times incorrectly uh, to pace? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. On her score sheet was different. Oh. Uh, and yeah. I was like, how are you 45 seconds faster than me here? I don't know. I was like, what? it just didn't make sense. Um, but yeah, her muscle ups are really good. Oh, you went five. No, four. Was that five? No, oh, that was four. four. I did four? five sets of four. Oh, you health fours the whole time? Yeah. Good job. Way to go. 
But I think it was like my rest breaks. I tried to keep Yeah, I mean, that's fast. Short. And shout Did out. you feel your like triceps go at that point? Man, I, I felt like when I got into the muscle, it was my triceps. Yeah, just I mean, lit. I'm catching pretty low. That's pretty low. Yeah. But. I'm yeah, I mean, your triceps. Oh, there there's the sip of water. What? Sip. You just have you washed water? that? Have you washed that out since then? No, I don't. I don't wash my water bottle. I have to keep the good luck in there. Oh, okay. That's the secret, dude. Uh, secret to mold. You're messing <laughs> to mold <laughs> to getting sick. <laughs> to getting sick. Oh, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I had electrolytes in there. It was a nice little treat mid work. I will admit, Saturday was hot in here. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday afternoon, it got toasty, roasty. Here? But then today. It's now 39 oh, degrees, yeah. so I don't really know what's happening. At 12, like right here, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Eight left, but it felt like I had so many left. Oh, I mean, that's – yeah, you're moving. I was going to say shout out to all of our judges this week, too. Yeah, they did awesome. Yeah. that's. I mean, that, that's a lot of counting and for all the athletes on site. Oh, look at the hand. I know the hand. I loved it. It was official. But it was helpful because you'd look over and you'd be like, all right. I know where I'm at. Okay, wait for the last rep. I kept the people on their toes. Yes, she does. <laughs> well, thanks for warning me. I wanted to be on my toes. I wanted to know. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't, it, yeah. It doesn't <laughs> look like I'm going that fast, but I mean, I. You are. Yeah. Is this as best as you could have done? That day, yeah. Oh my oh, God. <laughs> oh wow! And the celebration. Oh, I was so happy. <laughs> like she just won semifinals right there. Bam! Oh, um, look at that! Good job, Coach Adam Hope. Rogers. Because I, I really didn't know what time I was gonna get, and then I. Oh, and Jerry hug. Oh, Adam with the head rub to Jerry. <laughs> he gave Jerry a head rug. A head what, rub. Was, what was that? Like a twirl? What did you just? No, let I every- was. I was thanking everyone because there was. There were so many people. Thank there. you. You can't see. It's me, Alexis Raptis. I did it. I felt like in that moment, I was at the games. It was yeah. so cool. There were so many people cheering. It Ugh. is fun when that happens. Go I'm going to be out. honest. I'm kind of pissed that you did that and it didn't look like you tried. Oh. <laughs> no, but just how fast you were going. Like, it just didn't look like you I'm sure ever. The rest slow- of the people watching are agreeing with Travis. Like, it just looked like you never got phased. Yeah. I mean, I was phased. But, like, it wasn't, it wasn't. like you I weren't. was breathing heavy. It was just, all right. My body, my triceps, and my grip. You were built for this. So we don't have scores yet for this one. Do, where this. do you think you're going to end up? Uh, in the region? No, sure. world. World, region? No, world. no, this one's a world one. Um, Top five. Mm, region? You know who's in your region? I know. You think you're going to take her? I don't know. For those of you who don't know, Tia Claire Toomey is who we're referring to. I think I'll be top three in the region. That just shows you how stacked our region and if she thinks she's top five in the world and then top three at our region. Well, we have like all the, yeah. All of them. You don't think you can beat Tia? Do you think any... I don't know. You beat I do before? have a question. She's, she's good at everything. Do you think anybody's going to hit 40 reps on Queen and Jerk? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Trav, that's a great uh, transition. Let's talk about workout four. Let's talk about workout four. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> I loved workout four. It was cool. It was so this. Cool. I will admit, we did have two workouts with rest period broken into it. Yeah. Which I feel like never happens. Yeah. But I'll true. take it. I think it was great. Oh, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I love the rest. Yeah. I thought workout four was cool. It was a good mix. Uh, funny. Mike McGoldrick actually wrote this exact same workout with a nine minute time oh, cap yeah. a couple years ago. Last so I don't know year. if CrossFit uh, saw Stole the it. Summer Sizzler or whatever workout that came from. That yeah, was a TGD Sizzler. compete workout. Uh, okay. Well, compete workout. But it was the only thing different was the time cap, right? Time cap and the women's weights were heavier in the TTT one. Ah, it's because we believe in y'all more. No. Yeah. Only. It was, it was 95. It started but at 95. It at 165. But it doesn't matter. It still started at 95. It's okay, compound. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, whatever. It was funny because a lot of our members like posted the screenshot of the work because they, they saw it and they were like, oh my gosh, they've done this. What yeah. we all call him Mike? Mike Stradamus or something? Oh, oh that's good. Uh, no, I thought it was a really cool workout. I like the, there was a couple of different ways to kind of game it, but for I think the guys, it's more just that 245 bar just seemed to eat up people more. Like the, they, the speed she was moving, it was just so fast. And you got a lot of reps. I feel yeah, like girls go. are really good overhead compared to guys, though. Well, 
Do you not? Overhead? Yeah. I think it's just easier when it's lighter weight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I mean, if that was a 180 bar. Lex, I need you to talk that Do you shit. think that would have, do you think it would have changed things? By like how much? It went 10 reps? It would have been 170. That's the equivalent to yours. I think it should be 175. But I'm and saying no, most it, females, I feel like, are stronger than all the males. Like relative to the weight wise when they're cycling it. Like in, in workouts, this is not like a, a bash. But when there's heavy barbell, right? And the women are getting almost four to eight reps more each time than the guys. You don't think so? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a bash. I just think it's like you guys are really strong and you guys move the weights really, really fast. Yeah. And then like there's sometimes like a large discrepancy from like I think the top female score to the male score of this will be very different. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious. But I could see. also be really wrong and maybe I'm just weak right now. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. We'll see. see so this was the main strength piece in this yeah. year's quarterfinals. Is it what you yeah. were hoping to see or were y'all bummed that there wasn't a main? I wish it went heavier, heavier, to be honest. I wish it, heavier it had... Yeah, there was one more. Oh. So like another 10 at 245 and then AMRAP at like 275. Like something that like really highlights more of the strength component of that. That would play a role. I think like, right, you're going to end up with less reps. But I think just making it heavier, like I think it still made it way more of like a conditioning kind of feeling of a workout more than like a strength piece. But I also liked it because it was like, yeah, I thought it was cool. You can't just be strong. I thought it was probably one of my favorite ones of the weekend. It was definitely one of the most fun ones. Muscle Up was the most fun. This one was the second most fun. This one surprised me because when I saw it, I was like, oh, God, we got to do like five <sighs> oh. minutes of clean and jerks out of heavyweight. Basically, 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it was five minutes. It, just it was clean just, and oh, in my head, I'm like, that's going to suck. But like, I didn't, I didn't face the clock. I just stayed on. Yeah, I my mean, own clock like you can. with my coach. And uh, yeah, y'all had a lot of people counting y'all down. Yeah, yeah, and, like, that just kept you focused. Like, it was just so fun to just rip the heavy barbell and just get as many as you can. Like, it was hype. I loved it. Ooh, hype. Rip. Who did you go with? It was hype. You were next to? Jake. Jake. Yeah. The Burminator. The Burminator. Yeah. yeah. Me and old Gilpin went first, and then I did it again just then with Kyle Ruth and Ashley. Nice. But oh, I think nice. that I think it's just it's just nice having people that you're going with, even if it's like completely irrelevant. Would yeah. you all have liked to have done the gymnastics one next to each other if the floor plan would have been easier to set up? Yeah, I mean I think I would have liked to do more against her. But I also think it just it's weird because I don't think it applies. Like they're just it's two totally different things. Like yeah. it's always no, I don't fun mean training. against her, against anybody. No, no, no. But I'm saying like for the most part, I we usually train together, yeah. right? Like for the most part. So you're like, oh, okay, like this is usually how it is. But I almost feel like it could really psychologically almost mess with you too, mm-hmm. right? Because if you're like, you know, they're doing more on X, it's like, okay, well then this is kind of not the best plan because then I could get roped into that yeah. and it not, it could backfire versus sometimes it's just like when you go by yourself, you're like, all right, I know like this is my game plan. This is what I'm sticking to. And then you execute probably like it's close to like what you're going to do. Right. Like the difference from when I went first and second, like they were all very close to the end score of what it was. Um, So I think a lot of people make the obvious, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, observation about how semifinals live competition versus online qualifier. Even if you're going next to someone, most people aren't, but even if you are, you're not actually racing, racing. And so what is the difference? Do y'all, is that difference that big of a deal to you guys when you're going out in semifinals and racing intentionally versus doing these online qualifiers? Do you like them? Do you want quarter? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a pressure thing. Yeah. Because I think here, no, because you can't see at semis. Because, like, you only have, like, right? Like, that one opportunity. Like, a lot of people in there, like, going into some of them, they were already planning to do two. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, I was like, all right, I want to do these, like, one and kind of be done and be, yeah. like, happy with how I walked off doing that, which I am. And then now, like, doing event three for me was, like, more of a training thing. Like, those are actual things I need to work on. So it was like, all right, let's repeat that and see what we can do. Um, but I think the thing with semifinals is that, right, you only have that, those three days to show up and, like perform like this is when it matters. And like, this is when prefer? I think I prefer that because I think it requires you to semis. be an athlete. What yeah. do you prefer? Semis. semis. So yeah. what do y'all think? Of, so let's transition into this topic, which is this year after watching quarterfinals, I was like, man, is this, this quarterfinals thing is going to continue? Cause I don't want to speak for everybody, but my gut intuition is that 
even though y'all had a great time because y'all crushed it, is that this isn't like ideal. Do y'all like this step? Should we keep I doing it, it in your opinion? I think more in person is better. Yeah. Because I think there's so many skewed setups, floor plans, judges, who your friend's judging you. Is the rep good? Are you yeah. like... Are they watching the, all the videos? Which like, videos are they watching? Like, those I don't know. Those things make a difference and it affects the 20th to 40th place. But I think those 20 to 40th place can play an impact in how it all unfolds on like a competition day, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think we kind of go above and beyond by bringing judges in and flying them in to like do it, to hold the standard and like fight for that. Um, but I think you still just always have this gray area of any online competition. Well, so you have all that, the obvious, like how it can get squirrely, but just even the fact that this is not a direct race. What like, I like to race. Yeah. So it I, seems yeah, like I think it brings more out of you. Yeah. Yeah. Plus it's like, you can't, at least for, well, the semifinals is different. The games I like because it's, no one has time to strategically like make a plan. Like we find out the workout and then you're going and it's like everyone's in the same boat. Like for the most part, I mean, you can watch people in the heats before you a little bit, but it's not like here where you're doing the workout you and then 10 you, other people go. Yeah. And then you totally change your strategy and, and improve by a ton. Like it's not like that. Yeah. It's you're but figuring it out on the floor and that's a skill like yeah. in itself. But I think that's, what's making you the athlete, right? Yeah. Like just being able to show up on the spot and do it versus like you can prep and train to be a certain way, but like showing up and having to do it is a completely different thing. And I think that's why like the games and the in-person events, I mean, semis, yeah, probably not because if you're week three, yeah, you, you now have three weeks everyone. to do it, which I think is, annoying because yeah. it's like well it's not the same but yeah. it's just part of it well are y'all excited for semis yeah i'm yeah. so excited it's only yeah. five weeks away that's it five and a half yeah, yeah. i mean i think it'll be a, a good time i mean this is when are I you bummed that you're not in the west how cool would it be to be back in uh Stump you know Island? what oh is oh, that where they're there? competing yeah. oh that's oh. Awesome. i don't know which part i'm assuming it's going to be the tennis court yeah Oh, There's that's a tennis cool. court, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's why the West Coast has been posting that. Wait, seriously? It's going to be in the tennis court? I'm pretty sure it's back in StubHub at the tennis court. Oh, uh, see, that's awesome. That's cool, um, but that's going to be hot. You know what, though? I like... Dude, yes. Did you ever go? When yes. It was, yeah. yeah. Dude, you would just bake. Yeah, I'd, it was toasty. I died, yeah. That was my first ever year there. Yeah. We did some cool stuff back then. But you get to go to Knoxville. Yeah, I'm Knoxville. I like Knoxville. <laughs> Knoxville's cool, Yeah. I like it I mean, better I, than Orlando. I think it doesn't really matter. I'm so hungry, you guys. Uh, final thoughts on quarterfinals. I think it showed, like, what we're doing is working, and we're on track, and, like, we're right where we need to be. And I'm excited. Like, I'm excited with how much progress we've made in the past month, like, both of us physically, but also mainly mentally. Like, I'm excited to just keep building on that. Because we ain't beefcakes no more. That, Yep. <laughs> Yeah. We ain't beef. Y'all were big. We were thick. We <laughs> thick. We've, we've had our stages, our thick stages. It was our <laughs> but I had so much fun. Like I had, I was just like having the best time this weekend. Like I was having fun. I had so much energy. Um, I don't know. It was just very good vibes. We vibing. Things, well, like run, ran. Oh, I can't talk. Things ran very smoothly. Um. It was just, I feel like we just had less to worry about this year. It just oh. felt less chaotic. It Again, was shout out to the crew for setting all that up. Yeah. Good job. Thank One you. thing, though, before we leave. So y'all were on cloud nine. There's a lot of people, and you could, and me and Brandon actually did an episode that will come out after this where we talk about what's next because, you know, y'all are in the 1% that keeps going. Everyone else's season just ended. And, yeah. and so it's like, hey, what, what next? And how do I view the season? Do y'all have any things to say because y'all have been there in different stages of your careers for the people who didn't you know it's a roll of the dice what workouts come out right yeah. and so some people get a home run some don't for people who didn't get the home runs or it didn't go how they thought how should they view this season uh knowing that i mean i think you need to look at the improvement you've made over the course of the last year if that's like the goals and things you've worked on have improved you can't like lose sight of that. Um, yeah. I think a lot of times so many people are forgetting that like other people are getting better at the same time you're getting better too. Right. Like, and sometimes it is just a luck of the test for those, like kind of like the bottom half of potentially 20 to 40, like <clears throat> could just be workout dependent of like if you're in or not, which is sometimes that's just part of it. Like that's the sport. Um, but I think it gives you a whole nother year to continue to work on and strive to, what you can be better at, what you can improve, what skills you can develop mentally, physically, 
Like, are you warming up enough? Are you recovering enough? Are there other areas that you can improve? Can you lose some weight? Like, I think you got to step back and look at those things from like an unbiased position. Um, I mean, I've even had some long talks with members over the last couple of days of like, Oh, I thought I was going to be a little bit better. And I'm like, yeah, but you also need to be like proud of like, you qualified into this, you're getting to do it. And now it's the pressure of like, you're having a full judge on, by your side. And like those things make people mess up and then they get in their own head. They think they should have done a different strategy, but they didn't. And then I think you just have to be able to acknowledge how far you have come and not also forget about that, but still strive to be the best that you possibly can. So yeah. don't beat yourself up about it. And well, speaking of beating yourself up, let's say you really did get like a piss poor roll of the dice. Like they weren't your cup of tea. And mm -hmm. it's like, and you, you know, you're going to stew on that no matter what, even if you hear this advice, it's going to be like, ah, oh, what if, and, so for that person, like, let's say that it happened to you. How do you, how do you train or change your mindset to get back in it? Mm -hmm. I well, mean, be honest though. Yeah. If, if the answer is no, this sucks and I'm going <laughs> to ruminate on it forever. Say that. I mean, I would take time. Like I would take a week to be mad or not mad, but like take a week to feel all the things like separate yourself from the gym, go have fun and then sit down and like make a plan. Like that's the only way to get better is if you're not good at something, like you got to make a plan. And then next time it shows up, like you're going to be way more prepared and it's not going to happen again. But sometimes, I don't know. I feel like every year I'm like, Oh, we have done everything. We've thought of everything. And there's always going to be something that comes up that you're like, Oh dang, I didn't, I didn't hit that enough or I didn't practice that enough or like, Oh, I didn't even think to work on that. Like there's always going to be something for all of us. Like, even at the games, like there's going to be stuff that shows up and we're just like, Oh, what the heck? Like, where did this come from? So it's part like, of it. don't think, Oh, poor me. I'm the only one. Like this sucks. Like, no, it happens to everyone. Like it's happened to both of us and you're going to become better. Does that fire you guys up? I would, that's, I guess oh, I yeah. just yeah, like, see, project. I think that. that's part of the, yeah. Why do you think that athlete? fires you guys up? Cause y'all get like, because it's like, I'm never going to let that happen again. Like, I'm glad that happened. Sandbag event. Like I am, better with a sandbag than I've ever been in my life. And like, if that were to come up again, it'd be a totally different story. But in order for me to get that good at the sandbag, like that needed to happen. So yeah. if someone has like a bad workout this weekend, like it's going to fire them up and it needed to happen. Cause you think about that sandbag or a uh, ski bag sandbag a lot this year. Yeah. Yeah. I remind her of it too. Probably every time I touch the sandbag. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's the stuff that like teaches you. Right. Cause yeah. you don't want that to ever happen. Pegboard for me. Like I was one of the last ones and I had everybody cheering me on. Yeah. And that was one of the like most humiliating things being on the competition for the games. And you're the last one just standing there. I'm like, I don't want this pity cheer. Yeah. I want you to cheer when I'm winning or something. Right. Like, so then you come back and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> how can I come back and start like trying to get better at that? Right. And then you yeah. get it to where it's like, okay, now it's just comfortable and that's not going to happen again, but that's just part of it. Like, well, I could tell we need to get Lex some calories. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I, I've been doing math in my head. I'm like, it's been five hours. Since oh, my God. Since you ate. Uh, okay, final thing, Lex. This is for you. What do you think about this guy still being in the game? You you look at this guy <laughs> like, what the hell? All this great money. Can you imagine you being in the game as long as he's been? I hope is I'm that a in dream? the game as long as you are. But I think it's it's crazy impressive. Like, the Do you mental think people underestimate how cool that is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. I think that's way more impressive than like going for five years and being like on the top for five. Like that's very, very impressive, obviously. But to do it for how long is it? Like 10? Yeah. 2000. Like the mental. It's the mental side that I'm just like, oh my God. Because like a whole year, I mean that like going to the games and doing the whole year, like it is mentally exhausting like after the year's over you're like oh my god and you start it back <laughs> up and you're like all right let's do it again yep. but i've only done it like this will be my third time and yeah i mean it feels like i've been doing it a while and it's really hard like it is <laughs> so stressful people yeah. i don't think anyone will ever understand uh, yeah, it man, unless you're really in, in it. it yeah but it's more like I mean, it's everything. Like, it's just, it's a lot. So the fact that he's done that multiple times. It's crazy. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Right. Trying, man. Trying. Uh, where can these people follow you if they want to find you online? The um, Travis Mayer, baby. Alexis <laughs> underscore Raptus. Oh, you had to get you the underscore? underscore? Yeah. Gross. Why don't you just, why don't <laughs> you just be the be, Alexis yeah. Raptus? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I can't change it now. Yeah, you can. I changed he mine. did. 
Really? But yeah, you were like Tugboat 89 or something. <laughs> no, it was Team Air 18. Yeah, same thing. Because that was my first year. At the, tugboat. I think that was like the number at the games. I took 18 to my first year or whatever. And I was like, ah, oh, Team Air 18, sure. And then that just stuck. And I was like, nah, I don't like this. Let's yeah. get my name in there. Oh. Uh, All right. Yeah. Leave a comment with what Lex should change hers to. Maybe the like gymnastics no queen. underscore. No. They, well, hold on. Hold on. Did you at least try to get Alexis Raptus? No. What? I knew you were going to say that. That's why I asked. All right. This show's over. We got to teach this woman something. All right. Peace. Bye. Peace out. Hit that record button. Oh.